Take all our praise, oh God. Take all our prayers, oh God. Take all our thoughts, oh God. Take all our things. You reign us from destiny, from, from, from everlasting to everlasting. And Jehovah Lord, we are saying that from the beginning of this occasion to the end of this occasion, you shall remain exalted. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We glorify you. For you alone are that God. Yes. For this we pray, believing and trusting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Amen. Have a somebody to tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, neighbor. Amen. I am happy for you. Amen. Tell your neighbor you look good. Amen. Tell your neighbor you look loud.
take in our worship the Lord. Can we take our seats in the Lord's presence? Isaiah 6 verse 8. Isaiah 6 verse 8. The book of the prophet Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 8. Kitabu chanabi Isaiah 6 verse 8. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying who shall I set? And who will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. Kisha nikasikia sauti ya Bwana akisema, ni mtume nani? Naye ni nani atayekwenda kwa ajili yetu? Ndipo niliposema, mimi hapa. What is God going on in heaven? Isaiah na tupatia kila ambacha nisike kikendelea mbinguni. Bible says in the year that King Hosea died, I saw the Lord. Katika maka ambapo mfalme uzia likufa, alimwana buwana. When the Lord showed up in the life of Prophet Isaiah, wakati buwana alitokea katika maisha ya nabi Isaiah, He gave him part of what was going on in heaven. Alimwezesha kuwana sehemu ya kila ambacho kwa kikendelea mbinguni. And the Bible tells us dear saints, he had a voice. He had a discussion in heaven. Aliskia sauti, akaskia magadiliano mbinguni. There was a question. Kulikuwa na swali. Who shall I say? Ni nani itakaye mtuma? And who will go for us? Na ni nani atakaye enda pa ajwe? The challenge that God has in every generation. Chaka moto ambayo mungu wakonaya katika kila kizazi. It is to get a people that will go for him. Ni kuwapata watu ambao watamwendea. Our people that he can be able to send. Watu ambao anaweza kutuma. We live in a world where people are at peace with their own things. Tunaishi katika ulimengu wapapo watu wakona shukuli nyingi za maisha yao. When the Lord, when Isaiah had this question. Wakati Isaiah lisikia hini swali. There were people at that time in Israel. Kulikuwa na watu wakati ule Israeli. Some of them were priests. Wengine wao walikuwa makuhani. Some were kings. Wengine walikuwa wafalme. Some of them were businessmen. Wengine walikuwa wafanyabiashara. But there was a question going on in the heart of the Almighty God. Lakini kulikuwa na swali likiendelea katika moyo wa Baba. Shall I say? Ni nani nitakaye mtuma? Who will go for us? Na ni nani atakaye enda kwa ajili yetu? Every generation, dear sisters and brothers. Katika kila kizazi, ndugu na dada. The cry of heaven is to get a people. Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? Who will be able to answer what I say? And who are saying here I am? Na wana sema mi hapa. Come on, shall we celebrate this brethren? Hebu kwa shereke hawa pembla. Who are saying here I am? Na wana sema mi kwa hapa. Send me a law. Ni tume e wana. I want you to understand. Na chaka mwelewe. The cry of the Lord is that he may get you a very poor. Ya kumba kilio chakwana ni akupate ukiwa unapatikana. Those of you who are saying yes to the calling of the Lord over your life. Zwana mbao nasema ndiyo kwa mwito wabwana jua maisha yinu. May you allow him. Hebu umruhusu. To use you as he wants you to be used of him. Akutumia jinsi anaviotaka kukutumia. We are reading from Acts chapter 13 and verse 3. Tunasema matendo ya mitume sura ya kumi na tatu mstari wa tatu. I can say in Acts 13 verse 3. Mabili na sema katika matendo ya mitume kumi na tatu tatu. When they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. Nipo wakisha kufunga na kuomba wakaweka mikono yao juu yao wakawaacha waende zao. We come here in a mood of prayer and fasting. Tunakusanyika hapa katika hali ya kufunga na kuomba to pray and commission or deem God servants that he has raised in our midst. Tuombea na kuweka wakfu watumishi ambao amewatenga. The attack from the New Testament or from the church, the early church. Tindo kutoka kanisa la awali. 
They did ordain the ordinations by prayer and fasting. Walifanya eh, walifanya kutia wakfu kwa njia ya kufunga na kuomba. That's why brothers and sisters we got here in the mood of prayer and fasting. Kwa maana ndugu na dada kwa kusanyika hapa katika hali ya kufunga na kuomba. So pray and obey. Lay hands anoint cause the Lord is raising up in our generation. Kuongea, kuweka wakfu, kutia mafuta wale ambao Bwana amewatenga miongoni mwetu. The same words are spoken of in Acts 14 verse 23. Maneno hayo yanarudiwa katika Matendo ya Mitume 14 mstari wa 3. Bible says and when they had ordained them elders in every church and had prayed with fasting they commended them to the Lord on whom they believed na walipokwisha kuachagulia wazee katika kila kanisa na kuomba pamoja na kufunga wakawaweka wakawaweka katika mikono ya Bwana walie maamini that is what we are here for hicho ndicho kimetuleta hapa to be able to commission these leaders ili kuwawezesha hawa viongozi kufanya kazi to commend them to the Lord in whom they have believed kuwaeka kwa Bwana ambaye yeye anamwamini and ask the Lord give them the grace na wakati Bwana anawapatia neema the anointing upako needed for them to do what he wants them to do in our generation ambao unahitajika ili watimize yale ambayo inawapasa watimize katika kizazi chetu in our territory katika eneo letu in our ministry Mio, katika huduma yetu in their families katika familia zao because the challenge of leadership kwa sababu changamoto ya uongozi is the challenge we are having Moses in many families. Ni changamoto ambayo tuko nayo pia katika familia. In many territories. Katika maeneo mengi. In many organizations. Katika eh, eh, katika organizations nyingi. In many nations. Katika mataifa mengi. We are glad we gather here to ordain and commit to the Lord. Tunafurahi na kusanyika hapa kutia wakfu na kuweka kwa Bwana. Leaders that will move this continent forward wa viongozi ambao watasongeza bara hili mbele I'm saying leaders that will transform this continent of Africa Asema viongozi ambao watageuza bara hili la Afrika leaders that will move this ministry forward viongozi ambao watasongeza huduma hii mbele We are saying leaders that will move this nation forward Tunasema viongozi ambao watasongeza taifa hili mbele The ordination we are doing is not local Kutia watu ambao tunafanya sio tu kwa hapa hapa It is a universal ordination. Ni kutia wakfu kwa kimataifa. Some of them like selling their businesses. Wengine wao wana wili katika biashara zao. In their careers. Katika kazi zao. In their assignments God has given to them. Katika kazi ambazo Bwana amewapatia. Somebody shout amen. Mtu aseme amina. We are here to carry out this ceremony. Tuko hapa kuendeleza hatma hii afla hii. Besides with our uh most of ceremonies pamoja na wale ambao wanaongoza ibada we are glad to have with us reverend george sakwa tuko na furaha kuwa na kasisi george sakwa we also have reverend prince melu masika here with us tuko hapa pia na kasisi grace pamoja nasi we are also blessed by the lord to have his praise bishop fedric okono here with us tuko pia na neema ya kwa na askofu fedric pamoja nasi hapa a member of the old africa bishops council hallelujah hallelujah i want to welcome reverend george nataka nimkaribishe kasisi george to greet us before we enter into the action of the giving to our day atusalimu kabla tuanze kazi ya kuweka wafu karibu sana kasisi Ah praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I'm privileged to be in the house today. Tumetum nimetumkiwa sana kuwa katika nyumba hii leo. To attend such a, an important occasion for the presence of God and in the presence of this congregation. Kuhudhuria hafla nzuri mbele ya Bwana na mbele yenu. Before I say my name to you, kabla niseme jina langu tena. Let me allow my wife to come. Niruhusu mke wangu aje. Atendeke na mzake. Kina binti saa wa kwanza. 
is the first lady that agreed you first. Yeah, we need to appanza. Acha wasaje mukwanza. Thank you, thank you. Asante, asante. My name is um, called Reverend George Sakwa. Naitwa Kasisi George Sakwa. A son of this ministry. Mimi ni mwana katika huduma hii. At the home is Dominion Worship Church Malawi. Ni mwana kwangu ni Dominion Worship Center Malawi. Amen. Amen. Most welcome when you are around Malaha. Umekaribishwa sana ukiwa karibu na Malaha. You are most welcome. Umekaribishwa. Ah uh, before I sit down I want us to read a scripture. Kabla ni kete naomba tusome andiko. I want us to turn our Bible to the book of 1st Samuel. Tugeuze Biblia yetu tuende katika Samuel wa kwanza. Chapter 16. Sura ya 16 and verse 13. Mstari wa 13. And verses 13. You can just read from verse 12 and 13. Tunaweza soma mstari wa 12 na 13. I can see so the square. Naweza iona pale katika Can you be able to read together if you are able to read from your version or from the screen? Can you read together? Three, four. I brought him in. Now and we all of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to and the Lord said, Arise, anoint him for this is he. Bas bas tate then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren and the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward so Samuel rose up and went to hallelujah hallelujah in accordance to this scripture the Lord has found you worthy Bwana amekupata kwa unastahili. leo in various positions katika nafasi mbalimbali carry out the work of the ministry. Kuendeleza kazi ya huduma. The Lord does not see the way a man sees. Bwana haoni jinsi mwanadamu anaona. A man sees from the outside. Mwanadamu anaona kutoka kwa nje. sees from the inside. Lakini Bwana anaona kutoka ndani. So the Lord has seen you who is seated here. Kwa hiyo Bwana amekuona wewe ambaye umeketi hapa. Ready to be anointed today. Ukiwa tayari kutiwa mafuta leo. Ready to be commissioned. Ukiwa tayari kuwekwa wakfu. So you can enter to full performance of your duties in the ministry. Ili kwamba uendeleze kazi yako katika huduma. And that's how the Lord saw David. Hivyo ndivyo Mungu alimwona Daudi. He found David worthy. Alimpata nastahili. And he had checked all through the entire house of Jesse. Na alikuwa ameangalia nyumba yote ya Jesse. He found David. Akampata Daudi. And so he anointed him. Kwa hivyo akampaka mafuta. Through his servant Samuel. Kupitia mtumishi wake Samuel. And the spirit of God came upon him. Na roho wa Bwana akawa juu yake. As God Samuel is going to anoint you. Leo Jesus mtumishi wa Mungu anakukupaka mafuta. The spirit of God is coming upon you. Roho wa Mungu anakuja juu yako. To serve in your respective offices. Ili utende kazi katika nafasi za uongozi. Na Bwana atatukuza. Thank you God bless you. Asante Bwana wabariki. Shall we celebrate the Lord? Glory. Amen. Mwelu sika kasisi grace tafadhali. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. 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 I'm happy this morning. Nina furaha asubuhi hii. Because of what the Lord has done. Kwa sababu ya kile ambacho Bwana anatenda. In our lives Dominion Church. Katika maisha yetu kama kanisa la Dominion. I'm happy to see each and every one of you. Nina furaha kuona kila mmoja wenu. Shining in the Lord. Akiwa anang'aa mbele za Bwana. Shining because of the glory of God. Ingawa kwa sababu ya utukufu wa Bwana. You are most welcome. Umekaribishwa sana. In this church. Katika kanisa hili. My name is Grace Reverend Jina langu ni Kasisi Grace. And I know today. Na najua leo we shall be many. Tutakuwa wengi. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Now I will graduate. Nitafuzu. From Rev. Kutoka kuwa Kasisi. I'll have another name. Nitaongeza jina lingine. 
Before I sit, uh, I want us to read Acts chapter 6. Nataka tusome matendo ya mitume sura ya 6. Verse 1 to 6. Mstari wa kwanza hadi wa 6. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I just want to remind you why you are we are here. Nataka tu nikukumbushe kwa nini tuko hapa. I know you know. Najua unajua. And I want to go a bit. Nataka niende kilindini kidogo. To show you why we are here. Kukuonyesha kwa nini tuko hapa. It is says Yasema in those days and it is today when the number of the disciples was multiplied there arose murmuring of Christians against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in daily ministration then the twelve called the multitude of disciples unto them unto them and said it is not it is not a reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables verse 3 Start with that too. we are for brethren look thee out among the seventy men of honest honest report full of the Holy Ghost and in wisdom whom we may appoint over this business Praise the Lord. I just want to dwell there. Praise the Lord. Men of honest. Honest report. Full of the Holy Ghost. Wisdom. Uh, people with the wisdom. These are the people that are within us. And because of time. You will read the whole chapter and see what happened. We want to put an order in the church. And that's why all these brethren looking at me, looking powerful, through the wisdom and the Holy Ghost. That's why we are here. So we will receive this great bishop to forget a scoffle to greet us before we move on and to say him here, Kabla to Enele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Wana alia haya sifiwe. My name is Bishop Fred Okongo. Jina langu ni Askofu Fred. We serve together with His Grace Bishop Johnson in African Bishops Council. Tunahudumu pamoja na Askofu Johnson katika ile kamati ya Askofu wa Africa. Our base is in South Africa. Makao yetu makuu yako Afrika ya Kusini. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today's ordination. Kwa hivyo leo katika kutia wakfu is international. Ni ya kima taifa. It is not a single thing. Si ya tuki turahisi. Hallelujah. 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 Allow me to bring the importance of ordination and concentration. Hebu ni leta umuhimu wa kutiwa wakfu asubuhi ya leo. Three important of ordination and concentration. Sababu tatu ambazo ni za umuhimu wa kutiwa wakfu. Today we are here. Leo tuko hapa. Na kwa sababu tuko hapa Three great things are going to happen Vitu vitatu vinenda kufanika In our life today Katika maisha yetu leo Even as we congregate Tunapotia wakfu Our brethren today Wapendo hawa leo Hallelujah Hallelujah The first one Ya kwanza Is found in the book of Second Kings Chapter 13 Verse 14 And we shall read verse 18 Inapatikana katika wafana wapili Sura ya kumi nane Na tatu Kumi na tatu Kumi na ine na kumi na tano Ustari wa kumi na ine na kumi na tano Bible says that he shall become sick With the illness of which he would die Then joy the king of Israel came down to him And wept over his face And said Oh my father My father The chariots of Israel And their horsemen Verse 18 because of time 
He said, take the arrows. So he took them and he said to the king of Israel, I strike the ground. So he struck three times and he stopped. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's somebody and telling the greatest inheritance a father can live to. Salimia jirani yako na umuambie kitu cha maana ambacho mbaba naweza mwachia mwanawe is not a big masonet sio jumba kubwa is not a big prado sio gari kubwa na prado is not a big shamba sio shamba kubwa the greatest inheritance uriti mkuu a father can live to a child baba naweza mwachia mwana is the mantle of God ni ile kinara cha bwana is the glory of God Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Very fast number two. Ya pili sababu ya pili. Ah, because of time. 
kwa sababu ya muda Samsoti katika Zaburi 44 verse 6 mstari wa 6 Titus did Jesus say Biblia inasema huyu ni Yesu anasema huyu ni Yesu anasema verse 6 uh, mstari wa 6 over Samsoti ya Zaburi 44 He says sacrifice and offering you did not desire my ears you have opened but offering and sin offering you did not require then i said aha behold i come in the scroll of the book it is written on me i delight to do your will oh my god hallelujah hallelujah ordination number 2 kutiwa watu jambo la pili enables you to begin inakuwezesha kwanza to manifest the works of the lord kudhihirisha kazi za bwana matendo ya bwana kudhihirisha matendo ya bwana i declare pastor guto natangaza mchungaji guto today as we obtain you leo tunakukutia wakfu every word of prophecy kila neno la unabii that was spoken over your life Imani ambayo ilikuwa kwa mama yako 
darkness it is in you iko ndani yako but it has been torn lakini imekuwa ikilala hallelujah hallelujah we declare today tutangaza leo that as we lay our hands on these people tunapoweka mikono yetu juu ya hawa pendwa Inuka kwa kwa miguu yako. Greet this candidates. Hebu wasalimu them na uambie today leo the gift that is in you. Kipawa ambacho kiko ndani mwako. The gift that is lying in you. Kipawa ambacho kiko ndani ndani mwako. We tire it up. Tuna kichochea. 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 In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kazi kuu za Mungu Baba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salamia waambie let us give God. Kwa salamu na waambie hizi hizi. Jesus. Let me see it done. Come on.
Peter! 